The military is very stable. Uh, whether people really realize that or not, you know, you know your paycheck's coming every two weeks. Uh, you pretty much know what your next day is going to look like, and when you get out, you enter uh, a much more volatile, nebulous kind of scenario, and um, it's just a big change, you know. Even having life experience prior to joining the military, you know, a little bit, um, it's still everything that I knew basically as an adult. So to leave that behind is just kind of like, well, now what do I do, you know? Part of my transition, I just spent a lot of time thinking about like what I want to do or where I want to be or where I'll go. And uh, that put a lot of pressure and stress on me for a little bit. I'm taking my mental health more into like account. The unfortunate thing about the military is that people do tie it up to their identity, you know? So you see guys get out and, um, you know, they don't know anything else. They don't know how to be anything other than a ranger team leader or ranger squad leader or, or whatever the case may be. They miss that, that family uh, that you build. The only like real job I've ever had is been being a ranger. And uh, there's nothing wrong with, you know, the way I lived in the military. But I know there is more and there's, di there's different things to do. I kind of got to the point in my career where uh, I was more in the office doing like PowerPoint type stuff and that just wasn't as fulfilling. So I just wanted to find something that would be equally fulfilling but elsewhere. You know, like most people join for whatever their reason is, but then they stay because of the guys that they work with. Um, and I knew that I would really miss that when I was uh, no longer there. So part of this program is we get to meet really, really awesome people, whether they're chefs, uh, hunters, uh, other ranchers, and uh, I feel like I've, I've built a lot of connections here. After talking with Ben and him explaining the program before me showing up here, it's like if this is definitely something I'm interested in and mostly because, you know, the quality of human being that is in this industry I think is very similar to like the military. You know, it seems like everybody here like really cares about what they're doing. They care about their families. I want to be involved in an industry like that. You know, obviously, you know, maybe they have military experience, maybe they don't, but they're still those like hard working, hard charging type people. And I thought the opportunity to uh, be around those people while not being actively in the military would be a good way to sort of like blend military service with civilian life. I see being a cowboy as like being a lost specialty. Uh, not a lot of people are doing it nowadays. So I, I really wanted to get into like that lifestyle and uh, it just attracts me to be out with the animals and the pasture and the cows and just have all this work lined up ahead of me. Military to civilian life, is it's tough for everybody. But I think if you can keep the things that you love the most about the military while getting rid of the things that you hated, like shaving, um, but also doing hard work with your bros, like that's, that's the dream, you know? So being able to come up here and, and just having a taste of that uh, has been really, really cool. Have you had any ranching experience in the past? None. You know, I've ridden a horse five times before I showed up here. I got an old frog man, day one, lasted about 90 seconds and uh, he put me in the dirt. And Mr. Daffin goes, "Woo! that's the best thing that could have happened to you. And I look at him, he's clapping, and I'm like, what's this guy talking about? And he was like, everybody needed to see that. That is what is teaching me a lot, is that patience. This humbles you. Uh, I think I've definitely grown with uh, my roping abilities. Mr. John did a, did a lot in, in coaching us and making sure that we got our, our form down. He taught us a lot about heading and healing and uh, just just getting that rope to cooperate with you. And uh, from there, we're able to translate that to being on a horse and roping from, from horseback. I mean, day one, I could barely get on a horse. And then day 10, we were up at uh, Little Belt and Mr. Putnam called us and it was, you know, he needed to move 800 head of cattle and it needed to happen then, now and I'd never done that in my life, uh, never ridden a horse around cattle in my life, but Ben was like, hey, you guys are going with this cowboy who's like the picture perfect image of a cowboy, and I'm just looking at this guy like, wow, 
I hope I can like do good enough, you know? Me and my horse started off the day just butting heads. Me trying to get my horse to do something in a different direction from another horse was pretty difficult. And uh, we came over there and, and I remember coming up from the creek at the bottom and I, you know, I'd been hurting you know, 30, 40 at a time, getting him up and I come up over this hill and I see 800 uh, yearlings like moving together. And like we had, you know, talked the theory of wrangling and herding, but to see it in practice and bringing all 800 together and I'm watching the Cowboys on the far side, then I'm seeing myself, the Cowboys to my left, and then we're taking that and then turning them to get them through a gate to another gate, you know, to get out of a place where, you know, they were eating things that was killing them uh, was just, it's astronomical. Like, I couldn't believe it. Really had no idea what I was doing, and I just kind of started doing it without really realizing it the same way that I would in the arena just on a practice day. And um, when I realized that everything that we did here translates to the things that you're doing there, that was just kind of like a cool realization that there's a reason why Johnny Daffin had us riding around in circles and, and moving our horses with our legs it's so that we can do those things with cattle. And you can just see everybody's teamwork and, and the like cohesion of everybody working together but everybody having their own individual job at the time. That really makes me like want to be more involved in that, that community. Learning that, seeing that, and then understanding the plan the way Mr. Putnam briefed it was just like a like a like a brief I would get before I go on a mission. And Mr. Putnam asked uh, Benny, he goes, how long? How long have these guys been on horses? And he goes, ah, about ten days. And he goes, are you serious? He's like, I ne never would have guessed that. It was. He's like, they, I mean, these boys are working. <laughs> and you just all have this moment of clarity where you realize that everybody was feeling the same way that you were. Everybody was apprehensive. You know, didn't know how things were going to turn out. Uh, and and then we crushed it and everybody's just kind of like, wow, how do we do that? That's just a cool feeling, man. You just feel like, you know, like the underdog winning the Super Bowl, you know? Coming from not being able to even get on the, you know, sit on the horse for two minutes to that in a span of 10 days, like I, I can only imagine what's gonna happen the rest of this program and like where this is gonna take it. Um, like just my skill level uh, to be able to contribute on these ranches. And that's what it comes down to is, you know, helping these people with their livelihoods and being an actual contributor. In that two weeks when I was out of the military before I came here, I'd wake up in the morning, I'd work out. You're, you know, you're just going to appointments and doing little things. After that, like, I didn't have a purpose. And coming here within the first two days, like, I realized, you know, I'm, I was sleeping better. I'm sleeping like a baby because I came here and everything you do is purposeful. And that is something that I, you know, I had been lacking. I think it would be a very good transition for veterans just because there's always something to do. Your, your day is never over. You can go from like fixing the corrals, doctoring cows and calves, uh, fixing fence. So it's, there's always something. So your, your mind's always busy. The model is building confidence. And I think that's really important for guys that are getting out of the military, regardless of what your military experience is like. For most guys, that's what they know. You know, that's their adult lives. No matter what you want to do with your life, no matter where you want to go after the program, you have the confidence to walk into a situation and say like, yeah, there may be some bumps on the road. I may get thrown off the horse, but like if I seek out the right people to help me and the right guys to mentor me, I'll be successful. Once this program's complete, uh, I'm looking to get involved in the ranching industry. Uh, I'd love to work as a, as a ranch hand, a ranch manager. So having hard experiences and sort of like type two fun with guys that maybe you knew but you didn't know super well or, or people that you don't know at all uh, before you come up to something like this, it builds another family, it builds another support network. I feel like I've, I've built a lot of connections here and then obviously Ben is fully willing to help me out in wh whichever direction that I choose to go. So if I want to get into being a cowboy, then he has all these ranches that have, have a direction that he can like push me in so I can go and get a job there. And that's something that is what kind of opened my eyes and through Ben and this program is like, you're not just, you know, a number on a sheet. You're not just doing it as a feeder program to go to the next thing or the next thing. Like what you're doing has purpose. And I think that's a very, very big thing for veterans when they transition is having a purpose.
uh, and this this provides that and it opens that door. I'm, I'm the perfect example. It's like I had no no skills in this arena, and I have zero doubt in my mind that by the end of this summer, I could go work on a working ranch without a doubt. I couldn't design a better summer than this. Thank you.